Pride Nation, what's going on? It's your boy, the ambitious king. Oh, look at you, bro. Being pathetic in your room. Snap out of it, nigga. Forget her. They always will come back, bro. This does not mean your world has, has ended. The apocalypse has not broken out. Jesus has not come. Y'all be acting as if when a woman leaves you, like everything on earth doesn't matter anymore. You're talking to somebody that went through this countless of times. They always come back, my G. So why are you even crying and stressing and worrying yourself? Oh, my baby left me. You sitting there on your phone trying to, trying to not, you, you want to test her so bad, you ain't heard from her in days after y'all broke up. You, what should I say? Should I say that? Uh, maybe one of the tests won't hurt. Hey, did you eat today? Oh, that one shake, that one show came on that you like. Send. She like this thirsty. Ugh. Now you even more bad. <laughs> Don't cry now, bro. I told y'all what to do with these women. She likes a strong masculine guy if anything bro when a woman leaves and you don't respond and she say you know this is not just gonna work anymore i just feel like we're not compatible the earth spoke to me and just told me to leave you alone okay that's fine i understand hope you find what you're looking for but you have a blessed day because she expected for her for her to leave to damage you and make you just completely lose it but y'all be running behind this woman like Eddie off of Eddie, Eddie. <laughs> come back double D that's why she look at you like a goofy cause y'all don't act like y'all have balls I don't know these little, these little kids out there screaming and shit they need to shut up bro but yo never run behind a woman bro when she wants space, give her space. Because when she, when, when she because when she when she left you, she wants to go explore her options. She'll upload stories on her phone. I mean, uh, she upload stories on social media. Hey, I got you know out with the bitches, bad bitches only. Yeah, and she twerking and bro shaking ass. Trying to take her mind off of you. Do y'all think that they, these women just forget about you? Like, y'all, she don't know who you was as soon as y'all break up? No, bro. She's still thinking about you. She's doing these things to take her mind off of you. Meanwhile, you don't respond. You don't post shady things or diss towards her on social media. When they see that you functioning and were fine without them, like as if the breakup had no effect on you, now they sit there wondering... Did he really give a fuck about me? Why does he seem bothered? He must got a new bitch. So what's she gonna do? Get to lurking, follow follow somebody you know. These girls are FBI detectives. They they they'll find find what you're doing somehow, somewhere. I don't know how they do it. They, they just this is this is just what they naturally gifted in, I guess. Leave her alone, bro. She'll be back. They always come back. They never fail. Doesn't mean she'll come back tomorrow. Doesn't mean she'll she go come back the next day. Doesn't mean she'll come, come back the next week. Doesn't mean she'll come back the next month. But later down the line, in the near distant future, she's going to come back. Hey, big head. Or they'll like your picture. Or send you a funny meme. Or post something on, on a story. It's just one guy that I broke up with, and I miss him so much. Maybe one day we'll get contact, we'll get back in contact. And then here you go for the field test. Are you talking about me? She posts stuff like that, hoping that you see it. You you shouldn't even be watching her story, bro. And let's say if you accidentally, I'm I'm gonna give it to y'all from all aspects. If you do accidentally watch her story, let's say if you watch somebody's story and then the story just automatically go to her story don't 
respond to that story. She like, now she's like, okay, well, he watched it, but he didn't. You know, well, he, he must be thinking about me. You know, he he, he going to reach out any minute. No, no, we're not. We're not doing that. Keep hoping. Keep wishing. Because that wish never will come true. Y'all have to make these women regret losing you. When you're going on trips, they see you on a boat. They see you in the gym getting shredded. Got bad girls around you. You living life with your friends. You doing things that you never did before. That is making her regret losing you. When your life is getting better and your life seems fun and joyful, and like you don't need nobody, that makes a woman regret you. Uh, not regret you, regret losing you. Because now she feels stupid like, I broke up with him and I know I really didn't have a reason to. I know I just wanted to go out and have fun, but now he's having more fun than I am. I thought that the grass is greener on the other side, but it's not. And I'm bored, I'm lonely, and I'm miserable. <laughs> what am I going to do? I miss him. Now she will hit you up. If I was y'all, I wouldn't even get no, give that no energy. Why would you go back to something that shattered you? I know how it is to give your all to a woman, bro. And they just completely just disregard you. Your feelings don't mean shit to them. They'll play like they're so sweet and kind and innocent, bro. But in reality, they are very manipulative. Manip how do you say that shit? Manipulative. Very vindictive. Very spiteful. Evil. Psychotic. Delusional. Crazy. A narcissist. The last girl I was with, bro, took me through so much turmoil, bro, to the point where I literally was so stressed, I I passed out and I I I was I was out for a minute because I, I could handle all the pressure that she was putting me through. One minute we together, one minute we not. One we arguing one minute, the next minute we find a lovey dovey, breaking up, arguing, breaking up, arguing, breaking up, arguing, getting back together, breaking up. Like it was just like the same over the cycle, bro. Ghosted me on Christmas. But that's a different story. Long story short, bro, months later, she gonna come back. She came back. I didn't respond. She she hit me up again months after that. I didn't respond. Then she blocked me again. Then she unblocked me. How do I know? Because her notifications for her likes, like of my pictures came up. Because she knew I was the best option she had. She had. Now she see there's, there's not another nigga like me. And that's what turned me to the nigga I am now. Heartbreak can make you a one bad motherfucker. Heartbreak can turn you to an ambitious king. Because now you have the whole world at your disposal. All that, that love shit is temporary. Like it's not forever. Now you have time to focus on your goal. Now you have time to focus on your friends, your family. Now you have time to focus on your fashion. Now you have time to learn different uh, languages. So now, in other words, you have more time to focus on the things that matter. Better opportunities in life. Better experiences. More things to come to you that's going to bless you and fulfill you. Not some shit though, they don't care about you. Now the whole world is at your disposal. Because your mind is not filled with trying to Please somebody who don't even like you. That took you for granted. They didn't appreciate you. Stay ambitious. Stay determined. Stay powerful. Stay driven. Stay courageous. I love y'all. We out. Till the next video.